Happy Friday TNs and welcome to the second NFL playoff weekend of the 2018 season. It's been another crazy week with the Pittsburgh Steelers and now we'll go into the weekend wondering once again if the team will lose offensive line coach Mike Munchak to the Denver Broncos. It also sounds like all three coordinators will keep their jobs and that Keith Butler will now coach the outside linebackers in addition to running the defense. Steelers team president Art Rooney too had some interesting things to say about wide receiver Antonio Brown on Thursday and that was followed up on Friday with the player posting a long Instagram video in which he said more information is on the way. The senior bowl is almost and this year we'll have Daniel Valente down in Mobile, Alabama covering it for the site. We also will start our annual player draft profiles next week. As usual, I have five questions for you to answer during this quiet Friday night and I look forward to reading all of them. Have a safe and happy weekend and enjoy all the games. Thank you for visiting the site as well. Peace and love, peace and love. One name for me one top college draft prospect the Steelers might be interested in this year that you would like to see profiled and broken down on the site in the very near future. To Will Brown post some sort of an apology for his recent actions on any of his social media accounts by the time we post next week's Friday night, 5 questions? 3 Last week there was a total of 145 points scored in the 4 wildcard games. Will this week's total be greater than or less than that 145 number? For how many combined sacks and interceptions will happen during the 4 playoff games this weekend? Five named the winners of the four NFL Divisional Round games that will take place this weekend. Must get all four correct to receive credit, Indianapolis Colts at Kansas City Chiefs, Dallas Cowboys at Los Angeles Rams, Los Angeles Chargers at New England Patriots, Philadelphia Eagles at New Orleans Saints Recap of Wild Card Weekend Friday Night 5 Questions Question 1, it is early Friday morning on the east coast of the United States, and Keith Butler is still the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive coordinator. If you are reading this and he remains on the Steelers staff, then you are part of the 56.8% of last week's respondents who said that he would. Points scored for this question will be added into next week's results. Question 2, Art Rooney 2 made it clear that, all options are on the table. We have two months to go before we can do anything. There's no sense making the decision now, 86.4% of last week's respondents believe that the Steelers will not trade Brown prior to paying him his $2.5 million roster bonus due to him in the middle of March. Nor sure if Mr. Rooney's remarks swayed any opinions but the ball is squarely in Brown's hands. This was a non-scoring question. Question 3, most folks felt that Antonio Brown, David DeCastro and Cam Hayward all had good seasons in 2018. You could argue that two had some drop-off in overall performance between 2017 and 2018. Brown played one more game in 2018 but had 236 less receiving yards. His yards per game average dipped from 109.5 in 2017 to 86.5 in 2018. Hayward also played one more game in 2018 and his sack total dropped from 16 to 10. He also had less tackles for a loss, 16 in 2017, 10 in 2018. DeCastro was penalized less in 2018, 3 times to 6 in 2017, and gave up less sacks. Just 1.5 in 2017 but none in 2018. He did play one less game in 2018 playing 958, 85.84% of the Steelers' offensive snaps. In 2017, he played in 1047, 94.67% offensive snaps. 45.4% of respondents perceived Cam Hayward to have the biggest drop-off several citing that he was less dominant on the line of scrimmage. Antonio Brown got 40.9% of the vote though it might have been less if he had played in that last game. DeCastro only had 9% which appears to be consistent with the overall performance. The big question left on the table is whether all three will be wearing black. 
Question 4. The New Orleans Saints emerged as the overwhelming favorite to win the Super Bowl among Steelers Depot respondents with 59.1% of the vote. The Los Angeles Rams were the runner-up with only 18.2%. The Chicago Bears who were upset by the Philadelphia Eagles were favored by 6.8%. Others that were mentioned were the San Diego Chargers, Kansas City Chiefs and one holdout for the New England Patriots. No one picked the Eagles, Dallas Cowboys or Indianapolis Colts who remain in contention. Question 5. Nobody correctly predicted the winners of all four NFL wildcard games. 54.5% did pick the Colts to beat Houston Texans. 27.3% got the Cowboys Seahawks winner right. 68.2% were on the Chargers side over the Crows. But 81.8% were on the wrong side of the Bears the Eagles matchup. That prevented anyone from getting credit toward the 5 point weekly bonus. We are getting to the final few weeks of the contest and the Green Bastard is still in first place. Kudos. A group is just behind trying to overcome his lead. Can it be done? A couple new folks appear on the leaderboard while two who were on almost all season fell off. Let's go folks. Finish strong. Leaderboard after wildcard weekend, screen name points place change Green Bastard 89 first, a Mike 83 second on 2727 83rd tie, Matt Manzo 83rd tie, ND underscore steel 76 fifth, Beaver Falls Hosiery 75 sixth, Dirt Dog 1964 72 seventh tie, 1 Kenny Yim 72 seventh tie, 1 Wesley 71 ninth minus 2 ICN Cincy 70 tenth minus 2.